Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Zagoda. I'm a pulmonary critical care specialist at Atrium Health in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I wanted to share a few things with you. Um, I recently posted a video on how to use a CPAP mask and how to make this yourself using this in combination with a filter from a mechanical ventilator as such. By doing this, you can actually use this to replace or only in a pinch now, this is not to be used regularly, but only if you're in a pinch, you can use this so that you can protect yourself from the coronavirus. So this is N95, N100 level of protection. Now this can be expensive and these are hard to come by and this is something you actually have to make like I showed in the previous video. However, I was rounding in the ICU this morning and as I was going through things, I saw that there's an opportunity for us to actually make something that is probably just as good. It's not going to be as comfortable, but it's going to be just as functional and you're going to have a lot more access to these parts more so than a CPAP mask. Okay, so <clears throat> in the ICU, I know you guys have seen this a million times, an Ambu bag. This is an Ambu mask for your Ambu bag. Now on these, there's four little spikes. Can you zoom in there on those four little spikes? This is the thing that's actually going to be used to hold this to your face. The good news is with this, you don't have to make anything. It's already pre-fitted to do everything that you need. Well, how do you hold it to your face? As you go down to your endoscopy department and you'll have these things, these are bite blocks that they use. And inside the bite blocks, wrapped just like this, are these little rubber latex straps. This is what you're gonna strap it to your face with. You're gonna need two of these per mask. Otherwise it won't hold, it won't stay on. Let me show you. So first, what I do is I put it on the bottom spike like this, and then I put it on my face. I keep it on the bottom, and you want to pull it nice and tight, and you want to make sure you have your hole on there. All right, so just on the bottom spikes. Then you use your second one, and you do it on the top spikes. Harder to do it when I turn a video it than it is to just do it in real life, but here we go. So nice and tight over the top of your ears, high in the head, okay? You pull it down, and this one goes to the top spike. All right, you use it and you adjust it on your head, adjust your straps, because you're outside the room still and you still aren't protected, okay? Put your hand over it to check to make sure you have a really good seal, excellent seal. Now you have different versions of filters that you can use. We'll go with this one that we talked about yesterday when we did the other video. This is our ventilator filter. You can hook it right up directly to the mask. And now it's working. Hard to hear my voice, but it works really, really well with the breathing, okay? This is not nearly as secure or as comfortable as our CPAP mask from yesterday, but in a pinch, when you need it, this will work. And again, before you go in the room, you can test it. Excellent seal. Breathes easy and well for you, should protect your airway. When it comes time to take this off, I'm gonna do take this off now so you can hear me better, but. This, of course, will still be on when you're coming out of the room. When it comes time to take it off, you will grab this and hold it, and then pull on the green strap. Pull on the green strap. And it comes off. This way you can still doff the equipment very cleanly. Once you decide that you wanna get rid of this, this goes in the trash, and then this in turn can be uh, sterilized one third cup of bleach and a gallon of water in an opaque container of some kind, completely covered, change it every day. But you soak this, 10 seconds, take it out, what, rinse it off, sterile. So, how long these last? Well, we, put, we change these every shift on the ventilator, so I can say that they last a shift, about 12 hours or so. We're not supposed to be bringing these things into patient rooms if it comes from another COVID room. If you're on a COVID unit where you're going in between COVID patient to COVID patient, then you should be able to just put this on and keep it on throughout the day. This is not nearly as comfortable as this. This is way more comfortable, much easier to speak and people can hear you better. With this, 
It works to protect your airway, much more readily available, probably much less expensive, and you have all access to this stuff already. Let me show you a couple other things real quick. <clears throat> These are different types of filters that come off of your ventilator. One's inspiratory filter and one's the expiratory filter. I have not communicated with the manufacturer yet. However, I am told by my respiratory personnel that these are individually N95. I don't know that to be true or not. Please don't take my word for it. Check yourself with your manufacturer that makes yours. You can actually put two of these together because one's inspiratory and expiratory. By putting it together, now you're really well protected because it both air in and out. And then when you put it on the mask, and this is strapped on, it's actually pretty easy to breathe through. I really had no trouble breathing through that. Now you're not gonna go running with these things, but if you're just going in the room to check on some things, make some adjustments or changes or do an assessment, this is probably something that you'll be able to get away with without being too short of breath. This, much, much easier to breathe through. Much easier to breathe through. So finally, um, this is a fisher Pico mask. This is, goes back with the CPAP concept again. With the fisher Pico mask, we know that the bacterial viral filters that we use for our pulmonary function tests fit perfect in our fisher Pico mask. So again, all you have to do is hook this thing up, but don't forget, you have to cover these expiratory holes, otherwise when you breathe in, you'll be breathing in through those expiratory holes. So those have to be taped up before you try to go into a room. Finally, this is only if in a pinch. This is not certified or anything by any organization whatsoever. This is just where common sense has to overrule regulation. We know that these things work. We know that we have a good seal. We know that these things are available. Just use it in a pinch if you have access to nothing else. I hope this helps. Good luck.